It's a me. Hello. Enjoying this game. Uh, I don't remember this level at all, despite previously routing it out. I think I hit these boxes. Then where do you go? This thing? No idea who that is, B-Nips. I wonder if you can make that. Oh, it's up here, right. Alright, I saw something spicy today. Might require the double jump badge. <clears throat> Oops. God, I hate this badge though. I'm doing all right. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't jump across with this. I'm just trying to test this thing I saw today.
Oh, right, I have to go up here. <clears throat> no, not double jump. The wall jump... thing. Oops. Uh, you can, Thunder. Uh, the game is good. It's really cool. <clears throat> I don't know, the strap might not be realistic to do. of nerds. A whole bunch of maker players are speedrunning this. That's cool. Alright, how do you... Oh, this thing is what gets it to go. Alright. I'm trying to do this, you get all of those coins instantly, but like, it seems pretty bad. It might be more of a gimmick? I don't know if there's a way to do it. Like... Um... Adrelec? <laughs> Yeah, he made afterlife punishment. for the record, I have no idea. And I don't think you can make that in one cycle. Also, where is this other coin? It's up here, okay. doing? Okay. How are you doing? Oops. No way I'm gonna remember this whole route. <laughs> hey, I need that, I think. Rated a 
Yeah, in retrospect, this game's bosses are pretty lackluster. But I think every 2D game except Yoshi's Island has that problem. Yeah, the Bowser fight's cool, but it's the only one. So I saw a clip where somebody, like, jumped from here and just insta-got all these coins, but I don't know. In the clip, they were just chilling there, so maybe it's not actually good? I don't know. As a strap for it. It might be what I'm saying. Maybe I don't know how to do it. We love this game. It's pretty good. He's using the wall jump badge, and that badge sucks. And this Koopa's in the way. Yeah, I might just not bother with that for now. Yeah, you can change badges per level. Do you have a link to that clip, Carl? Maybe I'm doing something really bad. What? 
Uh, I hope to do a speed run on this eventually. It's going to take a long time to get to that point. Yeah, see, he's like just chilling there. So I feel like you have to use that wall jump badge then. I don't know if that badge works well in 100%. It's like right here, right? That was kind of it? <clears throat> uh, I spent like 15 hours getting... 100% on this. I really don't want to use the wall jump badge. There's a faster way to do that. I don't know how I never saw that. <laughs> See, like, something as simple as that pipe entry is annoying with the wall jump badge. Yeah, I've got to get all the 10 coins. Ah! I don't get this. Also... In the clip, there's no purple block there. Um, this block is in here? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the standees in this speedrun. Thank you. 
Like, the strat seems bad. This Koopa's a blind jump. You can't see it to know if you're going to get it. I'm not... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do this. It would require this badge. And this badge just is... not good. Like, that simple wall jump, it's making me do a spin jump. Or I would have to do the vertical jump. So even that's, like, a little slower. <clears throat> I guess you can do the pipe entry like that. You can't do that quite as efficiently. <laughs> I'm curious. This seems so much... It just seems so much worse. I don't get it. Like, the wall jump badge... I don't- and then you have to climb up anyway, like, how much time does it really save? I don't know! Is it a good strat, or is it just a hot strat? Oops, I'm dead. Probably faster does not wall jump there. If you have this badge equipped. Good gameplay. That pipe entry's a lot scarier. I don't know the best way to do this part. Maybe just... that. One twenty, whatever. So about to get here, one twenty ish.
Didn't think of a name more clever than that. Probably won't be any shell jumps in the run. So like, I get here about eight seconds faster, and I'm already up here, like, so you still have to climb up here at the end to get the, um, Thanks to tilted underscore scrim for my subject Coco. You have to climb up after you get those seeds. I don't know. Maybe it's better. <laughs> Thank you. It's certainly scarier. Uh, Casper, thank you for the 49 month resub and the raid. I appreciate it. What was this one? <clears throat> Oh, right, the, the thing spawns low. Oh, it just... Right. It kills your ground pound, that's interesting. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Oh, I need to get my route. Pulled up. <clears throat> Where did I even save it? Alright. So. Hope you've enjoyed the sub gift, Casper. Yeah. Maybe bam, bam, bam. <clears throat> uh, Tilted Scar, I'm thinking for the 34 month resub. I appreciate it. Was oh, this the level that has been posted a trillion times on how to skip the whole thing? Here's a, here's a problem. Where are these 10 coins? This might uh, not work so hot in 100%. The first one's not till here, so we probably could skip to there. This one's gonna be interesting. 
That's right, Ash. Of course, I'm not the best at this bubble tech. It's hard to tell when to shoot the bubble. Okay, that actually works out incredibly well. It's a good level to learn this trick. I just, I don't understand the timing, really. Because if I, um... I'm shooting it, like, as I land on the bubble, but it seems like I'm jumping over it. I have to slow down. <clears throat> uh, glad you liked it, Goomba Bread. See, I'm too low now. I don't get it. <clears throat> Maybe... Does anyone have dibs? No. Whoever's the best at the game gets to do it. I mean, I guess it's fine to do turnbacks, it just feels not good to do them. <laughs> Okay, that one's pretty low. <clears throat> Man, this is gonna be annoying. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't get the bubble, because if I just hold right, I jump over it. I, like, have to keep slowing down. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, it is on. <clears throat> like, see? <laughs> I did not slow down at all there. Uh, Cosmic Chris, thank you for the 25 month free sub with Prime Gaming. I appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, this game's awesome. I'm doing controlled jumps and it's working. As annoying as it feels to do. Did any of that stuff help? I haven't gotten a VPN. Nothing else has. You're at the end of World 2. It's really fun. There's one of the coins. Is that the second one? <clears throat> Whoa, I hit it on the way up. <clears throat> Stop hitting it on the way up! That's my secret cold one, Cobb. I'm never going back. <laughs> okay. Five bubbles there, and then hold right. For five bubbles, then let yourself go down. Stop hitting it on the way up! What are you doing? You can definitely do this level without slowing down. God, this is so sketchy to do. Uh, I did a hundred percent world one in 49 minutes. Quite a few mistakes. Yeah. 
Oh, don't do that. Okay, I need to count how many bubbles. Seven bubbles. <clears throat> okay. This uh, pack is looking sick. <clears throat> Can't wait to see a one hundred percent one from you. Uh, time dilation. Thank you for the eight month resub with Prime Gaming. I appreciate it. Uh, somebody enjoy your taco. Channel point rewards just haven't been showing up in chat for me for some reason. If you don't get there, like, on the first cycle, you can't really do the bubbles. you like StarCraft video. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. the height gain be enough there if you do it all in one go? <laughs> it's so sketchy. <clears throat> it lines up perfectly though. Can you gain enough height for that? I don't know. <clears throat> you might have to wait after the first one. Or after getting the second coin.
Dashing without bubbles? Yeah, there's not really a purpose to doing that. JD. I just can't gain the height. I might have to, um... I'd have to slow down for the next set of them. So I could maybe start bubbling after I get the coin? Try that. Level's gonna kill every run ever. And those jumps are tough. <clears throat> Press jump plus bubble at the exact time while running on the ground. But what about after the first bubble? Okay. No, I, I'm fine with that, I think. I don't know, it might be... <clears throat> might be doable to do it... Uh, 
It's just like barely too high. Yeah, if you can get that, I don't know how. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that's the strat I'm gonna do. Bubble to the first and second one, but then stall to the third, then bubble to the end. into World 2 so far. Seven bubbles, five bubbles. Get run. <clears throat> Spring Feet 1. No, I'm hoping I memorize it all, which probably won't happen. I'm assuming somebody's optimized this level already. <clears throat> yeah, 
That is a lot. Maybe I should save clips? I don't know. You make that in one go. Definitely not that way. <clears throat> cool. Oh, I should get the mushroom because it makes my hitbox bigger. That was incredibly clean. <laughs> compare this to Mario Maker? Sure. I can compare this game to chess. Absolutely not. <clears throat> uh, Code Phoenix, enjoy your taco. Uh, Wills Wills, enjoy your taco. <clears throat> uh, Cakey Streams, enjoy your taco. <clears throat> Code Phoenix would like a joke. I used to have a fear of hurdles, but then I got over it. <clears throat> How did I do that perfect run earlier? Hello, Yelly. <clears throat> actually really tight. So I need to land on that checkpoint. Yeah, dude, that's so strict. <clears throat> yeah, optimizing the route. Dang it. Alright, you literally can't improve upon that. <laughs> so we may as well go ahead and do special world. <laughs> it 
Ooh, this one. Wuff, wuff, eek, special, climb to the beat. Do I want a badge here? I don't even know. Is a badge good here? Maybe this is a no badge level. I can't see any badge being helpful here. I guess parachute makes it easier, but... Maybe I should just equip this so I can twirl, like normal. They can get the coin. Okay, I one-shot this when I played it um, in my first playthrough. Probably just, uh, <clears throat> probably just no badge here is the best. Okay, there we go. That's where I was messing up. Now I have plenty of time. Amazing. <laughs> oh. 
Well, there's no real route here, it's just, uh... <clears throat> I'm not using Jet Run here. If somebody finds a way to make it faster, whatever. I ain't doing it. <clears throat> Alright, so then we warp. To... Which level do we want to warp to? <clears throat> Uh, the routing's going well. <clears throat> it's gonna take a long time. So next level we want to do is these, so I guess warp to cloud cover. Uh, I have the route and which badge to use. I should probably start like making clips of levels when I do whoops when I do them well. Cause I, I probably am not gonna remember these speedrun routes. Alright, warp to cloud cover, where is that? Actually, we should warp here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So now we're like a Final Fantasy speedrunner. We got a menu. Look at this. Look at this hot menu tech. Yep. Look at that. That's so speedy. So these levels are nice because you can um, you can set your power ups to whatever you want in them. They're very good for backup strats, but also let's say I wanted to swap to elephant fire flower, I can do it there. <laughs> so far, the play seems to be elephant bubble. Um. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter which one of the- I guess we'd go here first, because of the pathing to like go like this. <clears throat> okay, we do not want Jet Run in these arenas, they're so chaotic. I don't know what I want in here. Maybe the bubble. <clears throat> Honestly, the elephant kind of crushes these levels. Uh, so far it's mostly jet run and parachute. Maybe we want the elephant here. <clears throat> uh, Smash Kantos, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. Oh, whoops. Tough choice. I love the elephant. Uh, <clears throat> how was your stream? Welcome. You're trying to learn a 100% speedrun for Mario Wonder? How can I kill you quickly? Maybe just take a little time loss to do that? What is a raid? Um, 
The streamer sends their chat to my stream when they're done streaming. You can't shoot up, can you? Is that a thing? I, like, hit the thing's tail, and it didn't count. What the heck? Yeah, the 100% route really is just go to every level. Things with the tails. Are there any combat badges? I don't think so. I mean, that's not bad. Pretty sloppy. Probably get it down to like eight seconds. I need to even see these other rooms. But if I could get up here, I could just like swipe these as I run by. Look at that! That was hot! I like that. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. I don't think there's a way around having to run back all the way here. I did my first playthrough without badges. <laughs> I was trying to bop him from below, but I got bopped from above. Dude, the tail, like, doesn't count. Gotta watch out for that. Yeah, I saw something. Yeah, so if you, um... The action, the run button command cancels, like, see how you skid and it takes a while to turn around? You can do it faster like that. Yeah, I guess that's the best way to do it. Just go to the left and back to the right. Because you have to do that anyway. Gets rid of most of the risk. Oh, that's so clean. I love that.
Thank you, Shao Shao. I should use the trunk on that last one so I kind of phase through it instead of bounce off it. Dude, you guys suck. How do I deal with you? And why do you gotta be the last room so I can't learn you? Yeah, Hammer Bros suck. They're like the worst enemy. I was supposed to do that. What am I hitting? I don't even know. <laughs> there, that was really cool. Really clean. Dude, these guys suck! <laughs> I hate them. Don't you mean wowie zowie physics? I feel like there's some RNG because that hammer bro um <clears throat> that first hammer bro I don't know do this. Yeah, that was clean. Oh no. Yeah, you like gotta wait here. This one's pretty chill. Only problem is waiting at the start. Uh, 
Don't do that. It looks like after the third chomp, you go. Yeah. Oh, what do we do here, though? Uh, thank you again for the raid. Hope you have a good day, night, whatever it is. run up this pipe a bit. Almost there. <clears throat> One, three. Yeah, Carl timed it, and it saves 12 frames to ground pound a pipe. Bye -bye. As a shot for game of the year? Maybe. <clears throat> Probably get that, like, family game of the year thing or whatever, definitely. Parachute. I wanted the other one. Can you make that? That's annoying. I don't know where any of this stuff is. That's the second one. Oh. It's literally right here. Where I gotta go? Oh. I don't know where anything is. The coin trail leading there. Come on. It is. Any back seeders? Oh, this looks like a job for the parachute. Oh, hi 
Mm, it looks like I can't really beat that spike ball there. Oh, those are solid. Interesting. Ugh. Is there a way? Is this gonna work? Please work. No! Dude, there's gotta be a way. Hello? <laughs> he drops it. Oh, let me cheese it. Bubble suit. Ooh. Yes. <clears throat> what do I think of the music in this game? It's really nice. I like it. What do you think of the music in this game? I saw somebody do a midair with a big shell, yeah. <laughs> Man, we I found some really good strats for this room, or this level in general. Not the best for this room, but we make do, you know? See, it's RNG, man. Ugh. That hammer is in different spots. That's so frustrating. I wonder if you can trunk the hammer away. Uh, Zimbo, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, the 100% routing's going. I'm trying to get through this level. The bubble suit may be the tech. Maybe the missing thing. Ah, uh, yeah, we're like a bit into World 2 as far as routing the game. Not really like... Basically just doing it all on my own. I hope it's a good route when I'm done. Kinda sad if it wasn't. Oh, I didn't get the coin, whatever. Dude, the bubble suit, that is it. Oh god, what is this? <laughs> I don't even remember doing this. What happens if I take damage here? I probably get like one... Oh, they don't even hurt you. Oh. Yeah, we're not actually doing 100%. It's 100% no gotcha minigame, the standees. I was trying to propose what to call the category in the speedrunning Discord today. And one of the admins there was like, you can't call it 100% anything. May as well call any percent, hundred percent, but not doing anything. And I was like, all right, I'm going to leave this Discord.
I need the bubble suit. Shoot. Carl, how did you swap power-ups so fast in one of your clips? I don't know if you're still here. It looked like you didn't slow down. A bubble for the beginning? Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny, Flower. My favorite part of this game. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, that dude lowered the cake, and that's why it didn't work. Oh, how did I... <laughs> okay, you can get... You can die in that. How did you get here? It says Raider from Zimbo 7. I really wish you could buy power-ups in the shop or get a badge that lets you spawn power-ups or something. <clears throat> yeah, 100% is cool. I don't know what all levels they do in any percent. If they don't do this one, this level's awesome. New. No. See? Look how awesome that was. Wowie zowie. Uh, I'm probably just gonna call it like 100% no gotcha. I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, you can. Oh! The tech! You can whack it back at him. Well, they were arguing about it can't be called all levels, it can't be called all badges, it can't be called five medals. So, I don't know, I just, I left the Discord. I was like, I don't feel like dealing with this. The quiz level? What is the quiz level? No, the bubble doesn't really work at the start, unfortunately. Uh, in the 100% channel. Yeah, like, I don't care about the leaderboard or anything. So if, uh, so I'm also gonna, like, pause the timer during my run, because I'm not gonna sit here for seven hours straight, you know? <clears throat> uh, restarting puts you at the state you were in when you started the level. But if you die, you don't get your power up back if you completely die. Mm, yeah, that doesn't work.
by as fast as dash better than jet run? Um, I have no idea. I don't have fast dash yet in where I'm at in the routing. Okay, I did this quickly earlier. How did I do it? Oh, like that. Okay, so go up to the top bridge and push it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the dialogue's better in one run versus the other. Okay, I can probably just ground pound that and then leave and the thing will collect it for me. What was that? <clears throat> I'm just probably gonna call my run 100% no gotcha. It could be toxic and call it 100% but actually fun. But I probably won't. Well, you can't call it all badges, because all badges, or the final level has a seed and. Ten coins and top of the flag. You get the badge anyway. I don't know. Oh, did it not do it? Can this thing not collect it? Or maybe it missed. It can't. Oh. Uh, maybe... So maybe we want to swap to the elephant, because the elephant can hit that with a trunk. Or I could grab a shell, yeah. Maybe... Well, no, then I can't ground pound. I don't know. I'll have to do some experimenting. Oh, this one doesn't grab the coin, it activates that thing. That's why I got confused. Uh, it's not about the time save with the elephant, it's about the... ...risk of not getting hit. It takes about a second to swap power-ups in Mario Maker, so it's probably similar in this. Oh my god, I needed it. Yeah, that was a good call, physics. Don't actually jump up there. Okay, yeah, the shell's definitely the play. Okay, do that a little better than that, because missing the top of the flag would make me rage. I would be very angry. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, chat, we made it boycott Mario Maker 2 as well. I played Endless today to make my video, and I got a sub-pixel perfect Lido level. And I was just like, dang, I could be playing Mario Wonder right now. What is a sub-pixel perfect level? It's so precise 
that the game can't even draw how precise it is. You could be standing in the exact correct spot, but internally, your decimal value after your position calculation is off. So despite the pixel showing on the screen, you being in the perfect spot, doesn't matter. So make sure to grab the turtle, but, uh... <clears throat> Thank you. Uh... The is nine. No. <clears throat> oh, I meant to want to time this. Dude, there's got to be a way to get up there quicker. Okay, we. We don't use parachute. This is where the double wall jump comes into play. Or this this thing, whatever this is. <laughs> that badge is so bad. Oh! Oh! Just shoot the bubble while you're standing still! <clears throat> uh, Uncle Beer, you got scammed. It didn't play your alert. Twitch is going to give us more emotes if we use their alerts, but they don't work right. Uncle Beer, thank you for five gift subs to Beware, Pudzilla, 122, Copsy, Night Reader, Zero, and DJ Delay. I appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, I don't think Jet Run would be great here. There's a lot of stopping. Um, maybe it would. I haven't tried it. <sighs> it doesn't really work that well. Like, Jet Run would kind of suck right here, for sure. Great right here. E flower, I'm so glad you're in this game. get the Koopa. <clears throat> so would Jet Run beat that? Maybe. That was a very clean run through the level. Jet Run's also sketchy. Especially with all these ground pounds. Yeah, this level's really fun. Hey. 
No. Surely it's not active here. That would be crazy. Oh, dude, I went too fast. Get off of me. Oh, I need to be timing this. Uh, maybe Jet Run is better. It's looking pretty fast. Compared to NSMBU. Oh my god. See, this is why I don't like Jet Run. Uh, so this game doesn't have a short run like NSMBU. So even if you're running any percent, um, Okay, I need to run off that question mark block a little bit. Uh, when I did new soup low percent, I'd say, gosh, probably 20% of the run or maybe even higher were cutscenes. So this game has long cutscenes like that, but it's a much longer run, so it doesn't feel as bad, I guess. Uh, this also doesn't have that dumb Miiverse prompt that I hated. Okay, that was a sloppy run, and it was faster. <clears throat> uh, Carpetran, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. 100% you have to get all the names in the credits. If you don't, gotta beat Bowser again. Yeah, I really like this game. The physics leave a couple things to be desired, but just all the new stuff is so fun to play with. Yeah, physics doesn't feed me hot strats often enough, so just I desire more, you know? There we go. What did I like most about the game? Um, just the sheer variety of stuff. Like, these wonder effects rarely repeat each other. Um... There's so many. I was, I just kept being like, wow, another new thing. This is so cool. <laughs> All right, this looks like a jet run stage. It's not a huge difference, but it's enough to be like, all right, this is worth the risky jet run. I guess the one issue is this level doesn't have a bubble suit, so if I do take damage, it's really bad. That was sketchy. <laughs> I don't think a shell jump's gonna be used. 
I'd that'd be so hype if it was. But I don't really see it happening. Uh, the vertical levels definitely you don't use Jet Run. But yeah, Jet Run's proving to be quite powerful. Ah, see this? Ugh. That's the part I'm scared of with Jet Run. Unfortunately, Nintendo's extremely good at de cheesing their levels. So, uh. Kaizo tricks just don't work that well usually in their stuff. In the old games, it's usually glitches that cheese their levels, so they couldn't have seen that coming. Oh yeah, Crouch. That's true. Ah, that's hard to make that cycle. Grappling's such a cool ability. The problem with grappling is the parachute kind of does what it does, but better. Yeah. That was still a little sloppy, but that's... Even on a run with a decent mistake, five seconds better. Yeah, I keep forgetting about crouching. It's useful with the elephant, too, because you can crouch and swing the trunk. Uh, I'm doing 100%. I'm not going to do the standees, though, so it's technically not 100%. People are, like, making charts of when it's optimal to buy the random one versus the guaranteed one and all this. It's just gonna lead to, like, your time being heavily influenced by luck, and it's gonna feel bad. I think this is an auto-scroll, so Jet Run is not the play here. But even then, you just have to buy, like, 144 things from the shop. It doesn't take long, but it ain't quick either, so, like, I don't know. I'm not gonna do it, because it's just not fun. I think I will buy the badges, because... It'll make the ending super fast. I don't know where any of this stuff is, by the way. <laughs> any back seeders? Doesn't this end with a boss fight? Yeah, so the problem is... You always start with buying the RNG standees. So what if some guy just gets unique ones almost every time and is able to buy the guaranteed ones early or something? Oh, the conveyor belt thing. Yeah, you're right. I thought it was a uh, Bowser we had to fight. I guess we'll learn the level at least. I hope the Fire Flower has a use. I don't think it will, though. I think the Fire Flower is cool.
Well, despite Nintendo's family-friendly nature and all that, I feel like a lot of Japanese game development studios do like gotcha mechanics. At least it doesn't cost real money. No, it's... Also, this is the best animation ever. Um, just the fire flower, I think, is cool. Like, but I'm thinking of it in the context of, like, Kaizo Mario Maker levels. Which... It's a bit different, I'd say. I think this is where I gotta push this thing into a sideways pipe. Okay, so try to get in here immediately. <clears throat> uh, Incognito. Thank you for the raid, or Iggy. I appreciate it. Okay, so je oh my god, why do I gotta play this whole- can I swap during the bout the boss? <laughs> I thought they were chucks. They may be sledge bros? I guess I can stay crouched. This is pretty safe. Oh, this is, we definitely need to swap powers here. This is a required elephant level. <laughs> How can you not be the elephant right now? End credits like SMW. I am holding down on this stick. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, thank God there's an opening. I thought I was dead. Okay, this is a problem. Dude, Jet Run is so, so annoying. That's gonna be annoying. Is this worth it? How much time does this cycle skip save? Twelve minutes, dang. That is pretty good. Glitch Cat, thank you for the raid, or not the raid, the 81 month resub. I really appreciate it. Uh, how yeah, did you like the game? I'm crouching because it's funny, but also I have the Jet Run badge equipped and I don't want to sprint into some enemy I can't see. Yeah, I love this game. Uh, 
God, get out of here. Dude, God, this thing's... Alright, let's see how good this is. I guess it saves fractions of a second in that room. Okay, it does save a good bit. I'd say it's worth the annoyance of having to do all that in the auto scroll. That was a that was a lot. Probably like four seconds, five maybe. Yeah, that was quick. Just have to not mess up during the actual level part. Bluff a Pete's flying battleship jet run. Want to see what the speed run looks like? Uh, well, we're still trying to figure it out. Um, we're pretty far into World 2 now, but there's still so much left to route out, man. Uh, I'll show you this real quick. I guess we'll simulate a speed run. <clears throat> What are those blocks? What a beautiful yes. Love a good breeze. Alright. I was getting myself in the state I would be in in a normal speed run. I like routing the levels a lot. It's also kind of interesting routing which level to go to. There's not too much choice, but there is some, and like sometimes it's like, oh, warping here saves three seconds over just running to the next level. It's pretty fun, it's a very long run. This 100% run is going to end up being at least six hours. But more, probably until I'm good at it, like over seven. Alright, this is what a speed run kind of looks like. Oh, I should probably end the stream soon. Oh, nope. I've already forgotten level one. Not a good sign. Uh, any down slope? I don't... Uh, I get this. It's slow too, but it's good to have a backup elephant. Usually there's a cutscene that plays here, but since I've already done the level, it hasn't. Ground pounding gives you a slight bit of height. So you can land on that tree. Uh, and you do have to get the top of the flag. Um, certain levels have two exits, and when that's the case, you only have to get the top once. <clears throat> I might go to AGDQ for a couple days, whoops, just because I can drive to it, but I don't know. The only disappointing part of this run is the best part happens in level 2, so everybody's just gonna leave once they hear their favorite song. Wow, I'm very good at this game. 
So, uh, ground pounding into a pipe skips the animation, which I think is longer if you're the elephant. Carl timed it and said it saves 12 frames, but I think it depends on um, how you, how high you jump and all that. I like these music stages. I think they're so cool. I want more. Just try to collect purple coins as we go. You don't need too many, but it's good to get ones that are free and don't take time to get. This was Barb's favorite. If I had to guess, I'd say he despised this. I was going to talk to Captain Toad, but I don't think I need his 50 coins. I'm not. I think I'm gonna take that out. Alright, use upstairs. Can we get him? Oh my god! It's actually so easy with buffer jumps. <laughs> You never seen that secret exit. It took me a while to find it. I guess there is a world record. Chat was saying somebody did it. I don't know who. So now we have to do the other exit to get the other wonder seed. Um You do not want to touch that. That's a run ender. Oh, shoot. You should come back sometime. Yahoo! Uh, we're going to grab the bottom of the flag now because it's faster. Yahoo! You only need the top once. So I did a full run of World 1, it took 49 minutes, I died, I didn't die, I reset the level twice in one level, and just general sloppiness. So I don't know how long it would take. Sometimes I miss that coin. This is the elephant strats. Just skip the whole thing. This is a pretty cool strat. We get this Koopa. Bounce off this guy. Throw the Koopa. Flick it up. Mess this all up. Everybody's watching. Yeah, you can do that way better, but it it gets that coin without you having to go down there. The reason I had to flip the Koopa up is because it was about to wake up, and if you just hold right, you can almost make it, but that guy shoots a seed that collides with the shell and kills it. So that ended up being the best way we found. I also don't know how to get through that quickly. Maybe with an elephant trunk swipe, but I'm afraid of breaking the barrel and not being able to reach the top. Is there a way to tell? Uh, I think it shows it as two acorns collect- or two seeds collected and the one in the middle will be grayed out.
Yeah, you need the top of the flag. Alright, this is a tutorial. Let's see if we can pass. Alright, we did it. So I would have this. I'm gonna get the secret exit here. God, it didn't let me jump. That was so sketchy. Hey, I didn't forget to do this. I almost always run past this tree. I was really trying to clip into this block to grab this. It would work in Mario Maker 2, but it looks like they patched the clip out in this game. So, like, it may be possible to get out in front of these guys, but it's incredibly sketchy. So I... I just ride with him. Okay, and here's an example. This level has two exits. Look how tall this flag is. This saves so much time. <laughs> if they patch the clip, it ejects you out like a corner boost in Maker 2. Even when, like, when you're falling down, it ejects you out like a corner boost. Where do I go next? Oh, we go to the shop. Which I already have the seed. Although I'm gonna start buying the badges too, I think. Then we go here. My PB here is 54.4. Badgeless. You just wait until a little after the third beep and you'll get a perfect start. I was actually so close, I thought I was gonna mess it up. Go, go, go! Oh! It's not that bad. You want to try to hit all the slopes you can. I do a big jump over that guy because one time I collided with him and took damage. And that's really bad. Don't want to lose my power up. That was a little sloppy. That was a good time. Uh, so the beginning of this route is rushing the Jet Run badge. That's where I'm headed to unlock that. Uh, we go ahead and do this level because it's useful in one of the upcoming levels. And it also provides a good place to warp to because we're going to have to go to Special World soon. And you don't want to walk back from Special World. It's very slow. Uh, I'm kind of sight reading this. I don't remember this level. <laughs> ah, I think you can make that. I don't know if the Wiggler has rubber banding. I've never went slow enough to lose. <laughs> I haven't checked that. I don't even know what level this is. Oh, this one.
Okay, so this level has two exits. We just go ahead and do both of them in a row. level just an auto scroll. There may be some super gamer task strat to not be an auto scroll, but if there is, I don't know. You don't have access to bubble suit or jet run here, so probably not. You don't have to hit these P switches. Why did it ground pound? What was that, man? Oh my god, what was that? Wonderful. Uh, so I'm gonna get the bottom of the flag here, because otherwise you have to wait on this bison thing. Badgeless 100%? Yeah, if somebody wants to do it, why not? Now we get the regular exit. Oh yeah, the badge challenge levels. Well, I mean, you can just... Ugh, this is what people were doing in that Discord, being like super... sticklers about the naming and rules and like... That's why I like Kaizo Ironmon, it's just like fun. It's like, oh my god, you... You left the gym without fighting a trainer. You lose your 10 hours of progress. Like, I don't know. Okay, we want to try to not collect this thing up here. Good. Like, speedrunning's supposed to be for fun. Thank you. Although younger me would be like that and be super try-hard and... Yeah, I don't know where any of this stuff is. I've forgotten this level. Oh, yeah. Uh, BBT, thank you for the raid. What do I do? Do this? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's up here. I uh, hope you had a good stream. I don't know a good way to collect the seed, or wonder flower, whatever. Also, Nintendo's cowards. Show us the neck. Don't make it dark. I challenged Nintendo to release the color version of this. Yeah, we're trying to learn a speed run. It's gonna take a long time. Well then, release a shirtless version of it in color. Uh, is this still...? No, 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 I got the wrong badge. Surely I remember this route. Oh, yep, up here. Uh, up here.
Up here? Ah, yeah, and in here. <clears throat> what are you doing? That jump is just barely possible. That's the only reason you can use this badge to save time here. If you couldn't make that, then it would be better to use the parachute. We did different routes. How am I going to get the top? I don't know. I hope I remember by the time I get there. I know you can. I don't know why I struggle with this section. Yeah, like, I don't know that my routes are, like, perfect and all that or whatever. Some other people, maybe, film better things. Bye. Don't touch that. We need the elephant really bad. <laughs> oh, oh right, you go left and then ground down. Yeah, how do I do this? How's this gonna work? Um... this work? How do I do this? Did I just not get the top of the flag when I tested this? Yeah, this doesn't look possible. Hang on. Well, yeah, jump off the hippo, but the hippo's not going to be there during the speed run. The whole point is to not get that hippo because it's slow. I did this. I didn't just test the level and not get the top. I wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> right, I'm saying the hippo shouldn't be there. One of the big time saves in this is that... See, I have to go up here, knock this guy down, walk him down... The time save is that you can do this. But I think I just forgot to... You can't get the top of the flag. You can with the parachute. Yeah, I don't think you can make it skip the hole because when you trunk it, it just rolls. You can make it skip the hole? Yeah, the, the parachute badge is what I used to use, but it's slower.
It's like a task only strat. Oh. Oops. Oh, yep, I have this badge on now. This wall jump badge just I don't like it. It just feels unnatural. It's like Mario shouldn't wall jump like that. It's wrong. Maybe I did that before and I just forgot I did it. Yeah, I know you can spin wall jump, but the spin jump is a big height. Or it's a fixed height. Can I do this? Oh yeah, that'll reach. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I know, Mr. Person. I am aware. But he's not in a good spot for it. Did I get the top of this with this thing ever? Did I just never get the top of the flag? Oh, I have this now. Right, but waiting for him to walk is... It negates the time save over just using this badge. I need to test something. Yeah. So maybe it would still be better? with the wall jump badge if I, um... It is slower with the parachute. The wall jump saves about five seconds, so I'd say the waiting on the hippo to walk doesn't take five seconds. I can't believe I tested this and was like, oh yeah, that's faster, and then just forgot to, like, actually grab the top of the flag. I keep forgetting a, this vertical wall jump so weird. Yeah, you can barely make that. No, I can't. Uh, we don't have Flutter Jump unlocked. That badge is sick, though. I think that's from World 6, maybe? jump thing. Uh, I only have that unlocked because I'm further in my actual playthrough. Oh, dude, the 
problem is if you screw that up. Remember that you have vertical wall jump equip challenge. Level impossible. I've used the parachute so much now that I'm not used to normal twirls. Oh man, I don't know. I'll probably just do double jump. It's much easier to climb, and it's also faster. Um, so I guess if I have to go get the other hippo, it's just time loss. Not like oh, I, it's not like losing a power up or something. It's just time loss. Two of the Beatles have the same vowel sound in their names. Which ones? Uh, Yoko and Ono. Uh-oh. All right, so we go left, and then ground pound. Is this dude even going to be here? Oh, he is. <laughs> How did I not test this? I guess, I don't think I ever actually finished the level with the vertical jump is what happened. I think I went up to the Wonder Seed and was like, yep, that's good. Yeah, you can't get the top. Alright. Anyway. Um, alright chat, this was just a little bonus stream. Get some routing and practice in. Uh, we should be back Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. We're slowly gonna route this out, and then forget everything and try a run and fail miserably. But it'll be fun. Uh, but thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, I guess I'll host somebody. Oh! <clears throat> I was Panga EA Sports Panga. Uh, he's playing Mario Maker 2 and then he's gonna play this game after that. So exciting. Uh, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And see you next time.